Today marks the eighth anniversary of Flight 3407. The fatal plane crash devastated the town of Clarence and the Western New York community. Now, with the man who brought the community back together after this tragedy is sharing his story. The town of Clarence emergency manager Dave Bissonette is writing a book about the tragedy called Flight 3407 Compassionate Leadership in the Face of Disaster. News 4's Marissa Perlman shows us his journey. 18 months ago, if you said we were going to write a book, I would have said, uh, not, not me. Town of Clarence emergency manager Dave Bissonette and his wife Tracy say they were out of their comfort zone writing this book. We definitely relived moments when we were talking the book and, and going through this and writing it. Bissonette helped lead the response team in one of the most tragic times in our area, but he didn't do it alone. A big part of what I do as an emergency manager does affect my household. And uh, Tracy, for years, has uh, um, been exposed to the stresses of uh, crisis management, in particular, and learning uh, um, how to how to respond to um, uh, loss. It was a difficult time for Dave, without question. What what he went through. This book is a reflection on his career, more than 25 years of emergency management experience. And the 11 days after flight 3407 crashed in Clarence, killing all 49 people on board and one person on the ground. But they say this is the year they want to share their story. We've kind of captured now the loose ends that we were feeling for a long time and and wanting to honor uh, the families and the victims of, of this crash our way. Bissonette says sharing the tactical information is important, but also how to deal with the emotional aftermath. But most importantly, how to bring a community back together once again. There are a lot of tragic things that occurred, but there were so many good things that resulted from that. And those are the things we want to continue to do and pass on. It was some dark, very dark days, but through all of that, there was so much compassion for the people of Buffalo and, and, and the community, and we were just so um, amazed at the strength of what Buffalo carries. For more information on how you can purchase one, head to WIVB.com. Reporting in Buffalo, Marissa Perlman, News 4.